Welcome back to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the interactive render region to, as a bit of a hack to um, speed up when you're speed up your render times when you want to re-render just small elements of the scene that you're changing. Um, so in this case, um, I originally had uh, a red material here to signify these little viruses in this in this rendering that's basically just kind of um, demonstrating the spread of virus inside of a hospital room. So um, my original render time for this was uh, three minutes and 19 seconds. All right. And so um, what I'm going to do is show you how we can speed that up. If I wanted to, let's say, come in here and just change my material to a different color, something in this case, a green color on these little viruses. So what you're going to do is you're going to open the interactive render region and you want to just kind of drag this into place um, so that you've got it, um, what you're changing covered. So we'll just go something like that. And then you want to make sure that you've got this uh, slider turned all the way up. That's going to be the, the quality. Um, and then from there, all we need to do is jump in to our save and uh, or sorry, our output. And I've got render region checked. So you want to make sure you check render region. And then we're going to look at some of the options here. We're going to make sure that we click copy from IRR. So now that he's using the frame from the interactive render region. And then the only other thing we want to make sure is that when we save this one, we want to make sure we have the alpha channel turned on. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and see how long this takes to render. So I'm just going to bring it up here and render it and we'll get back to you. Okay. So now that we're done rendering, we can compare these two. And so the replaced uh, frame here, we're using the interactive render region. This only took a minute and six seconds. Uh, granted, it was a fairly large uh, area and I have global illumination and ambient occlusion on in my scene here. But, um, you know, normally it would work best if you're just kind of like removing a small area. Uh, but nonetheless, um, I still was able to shave off uh, a good uh, two minutes, more than two minutes from this. Um, so now all that we need to do is jump into, uh, you know, you can do this in After Effects or um, Photoshop, is I'm just going to um, bring in the uh, virus image here, and all I need to do is just layer the, uh, let's just bring these in here together just to show you. All I need to do is just layer that one on top and there it is. So you just see there, it fits like a glove. You don't need to re-render the whole scene, especially if you're doing architectural visualization and you want to change the little elements. This is a great little hack to save you render time. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.